If you have multiple sclerosis, we've got great news for you. We actually published a study in uh, PubMed where we had 100% of our patients that participate in the study, 77 patients in just six weeks, 100% of them noticed improvements. If you comment in the section, I'll be happy to send you the link for that research so you can actually check it out yourself. But first, I want to give you a little bit of background. It's kind of an interesting story. So we had a guy come over from Italy uh, and uh, with multiple sclerosis, and he was in a wheelchair. We started working on him. He's got a room, got a hotel, and come to the office, and we check him and adjust him. And within three months, he went back to Italy and walking without his wheelchair. So when, when he went walking into the multiple sclerosis doctor he saw in Italy that got his attention, he's like, what's going on? What did you do? And he tells a story about, I went to America, met uh, with me, got under upper cervical knee chest care, and uh, basically got better. So he passed that information on to a couple other doctors, uh, Sandra Mondelacy, who is a well-known researcher in multiple sclerosis, and Giuseppe Marcheca. Well, Dr. Marcheca actually called me. He said, I want to come and see exactly what it is that you do. So he comes over to America, spends a couple weeks with me, uh, inter uh, interviewing my patients, watching what we do, understanding my explanation and understanding how the body works. And he looked at me in the eye and he said, Dr. Drury, he said, I want to prove to you what you know philosophically. I want to prove scientifically that it actually works and it actually helps people. I was like, hey, let's do it. So I had an office in Rome at the time and uh, Dr. Mondelacy is a world-renowned multiple sclerosis researcher. And so he teamed up with my doctor over there in Rome. They did all the testing for multiple sclerosis and all the uh, 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 follow-ups. And my doctor basically just checked them and adjusted them and sent them home. Well, at the end of six weeks, the results were phenomenal. The doctors that did the results, the medical doctors all said they never had a single study ever where 100% of the patients improved. There's always somebody that maybe gets worse or even stays the same, but 100% of the people improved. And they were conditions that some of them probably maybe didn't even have, like they didn't even notice. So like urinary stuff improved, digestion improved, uh, motor obviously with multiple sclerosis, motor improved, uh, cognitive abilities. And the number one thing that improved the most was perception. And you know, that's brain function, which is amazing. 78% of patients noticed improved brain function, which is really incredible. Now. Another side note on this story was once this, pub, once this was published in PubMed, I sent it out to all the different uh, news stations and uh, one of the national uh, stations called me up and said they wanted to do the story. Well, they got everything in place, ready to run. The day before the story, they yanked it. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? Finally, I got a, a, a lower executive to finally respond to me and say, listen, if we ever ran a story like this, we'd be in deep trouble because if you look at all the people that pay our bills, it's basically the pharmaceutical industry. If we run anything that's not pro-pharmaceutical, pro-medical, they're going to yank our advertising. So that's why they canceled it. That's why, unfortunately, you're probably never going to hear about this research or about this study that was done unless you hear it from me or you go on PubMed yourself and do a random search and get lucky. So if you'd like to have a copy of it, just comment. I'd be happy to send you the link or even the full version of it. But it's pretty amazing what can happen uh, when you get the nervous system functioning the way it was designed and the body can heal. So look forward to hearing from you. Have a good day.